tell me you see it too. Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I like making things out of paper, and I like making things cooler, especially my figures. Sometimes figures don't look all that screen accurate. All they need is a bit of touch up here and there to unleash the hidden potential. I also love using everyday tools and materials to recreate iconic scenes from my figures, so they can shine on my display. Subscribe to my channel and join my DIY adventure as I ask myself the same question every week. Can I make it? Last time, I made the Telecon throne using a variety of materials. I love it. Check it out. Alright, I'm excited for this one. I love Okoye. She's probably my favorite character from the Black Panther franchise. She's loyal, she's strong, and funny too. I didn't get the Okoye figure from the first movie, so when I saw that they were releasing a new one, I knew I had to get it. But I feel like this is one of the weaker figures of the wave. So, let's, let's deconstruct, deconstruct this, this figure. figure. There's an FAQ on the paint and brushes I use in the description box below. I find the colors on this figure flat, even though they're pretty accurate. They somehow has this unpainted vibe to them, especially the orange. I find the orange grabbing my attention, but not in a good way. The gold they used also looks a little cheap. They look fragile. The head looks quite cartoonish to me, kinda like Namor's face. I think it's because they made her face look too soft. But Okoye generally has a strong, confident, tense look to her. I can kinda see Okoye from the side, but it looks a little strange straight on. It almost feels like this head was hand sculpted instead of 3D scanned. This figure is a bit underwhelming, but I think there's potential for it to look more premium. So, can I make it? Let's start with the orange. I don't own any orange paint, so I'm gonna have to mix my own. I wanna paint the top half of her torso orange. Whenever I look at full length or upper body shots of Okoye, it looks like her entire top is orange. But it's kind of an optical illusion. In reality, it is red, but there are all these intricate designs on it that makes it appear orange from afar. These details are too small for me to do. So I figured it would be easier if I just make the top half orange too. I think that will make the orange blend with the outfit better. Okay, as I was painting it, I realized that it's more effective for me to paint yellow onto the area instead of using orange. Because I'm painting with thin layers, the red from underneath is still visible. So if I use yellow instead of orange, the thin yellow paint and the red plastic will blend and become orange. On top of that, I can use the yellow to bring out the details. I'm also going to go over the orange plastic to keep the color consistent. Okay, next. The mustard colored dress or drape piece is quite unflattering and unnatural. The color is way too flat, making it look more like cheese or food than fabric. So I'm going to add a wash of brown over it to deepen the color and add a bit of shading to it. I'm going to focus a little bit more near the edges of the fabric to give it more dimension. Oh, can't forget the underside. Alright, next. This is me being picky. I want the red to be a bit deeper and richer. So I'm going to add a wash of purple to cool down the color, so it becomes more of a cool red than a warm red. The next color I'm going to adjust is the brown. I'm going over these areas with the dark brown. I want to increase the contrast of the colors. All these bright and bold colors need a darker color to counterbalance them. I'm also going to rub a bit of this brown onto the panel below her waist. This will add a bit of grit to the design and make it look less flat. Time to fix the gold. The gold they use is too pale or muted. The key element that makes Okoye stand out against the rest of the Dora Milaje is the gold armor she's wearing. So I gotta make sure the gold here looks and feels high-end. And with the same gold, I'm gonna fill in those lines on her chest. 
The Dora Milaje's outfit are quite exquisite. I want that to be reflected on mine. Next, I doubled down the gold a bit and I'm gonna apply this color over her upper sleeves. I thought about skipping this part, but the design is already molded in. All I gotta do is follow the lines. Alright, just a few more silver touches here and there. Oh, can't forget the Kimoyo beads. A touch of silver to make them look more metallic. And last but not least, her legs. The colors are correct, but the boots and the legs look too similar in tone. So I'm going to give the boots a wash of black to darken them slightly. And then I'm going to add a bit of shine to the patterns on their thighs with the glossy varnish. Having a variety of texture will also make the figure look more premium. I have some extra varnish left, so I'm going to rub it all over her arms to give the red that leathery shine. Alright, time to work on the face. The face just looks slightly off. It doesn't look like the nine to me. The tattoo on her head bothers me. I think it's just the nature of the way it's painted onto the figure. There's this sheen to it that doesn't look too natural. So I'm going to rub a faint layer of brown over it to mattify it and also make it look like the color pigments are embedded into the skin. I think it's working, so let me apply the color to the rest of the face so the color matches. Next, I'm going to redo her eyebrows so they don't look too drawn on. As for her eyes, I'm going to give her eyes this darker makeup look. This should add a bit of intensity back to her stare and make the eyes look less cartoonish. I'm adding a small, small amount of purple onto her lips. It's very subtle, but it should make her look a bit more lifelike. Alright, here it is. She looks so much more like Okoye now. She doesn't look as cartoonish and her stare is much more intimidating. She's totally judging me and about to kick my butt. Alright, before I do the before and after, let me quickly work on her spear. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be screen accurate at all. I don't remember it looking like this in the movie. There isn't much I can do to make it more screen accurate. So I'm just going to go over the spear with the silver and then add a bit of black wash down the middle to make it more solid and metallic. Mm, not bad. Still wish it's more screen accurate though. Alright, here's the finished figure. I love that Okoye no longer looks like a cartoon character and the outfit looks more realistic with various materials and texture. And I'm glad I was able to fix the face. It still doesn't look like Okoye 100%, but it's no longer giving me Avatar vibes. What do you think? Do you like what I've done? Let me know down below. Okoye was the figure I wanted the most from this wave, but I was a bit disappointed. So I'm glad I fixed this. I wasn't sure if the face was going to get any better. But that little bit of eye makeup fixed it in my opinion. I know Okoye got a new suit in the movie, but I like her in this outfit more. I can put this version of Okoye in a variety of displays, like the scene from Infinity War or the all-female scene from Endgame. And of course, I can display her with the other Black Panther movie figures. Alright, let's end this with a photo shoot. Okoye usually stands in a very stoic manner, very upright, confident and strong. She doesn't really need to do any crazy dynamic poses. She and her spear do all the talking. That said, she looks equally as strong without her spear too. She's definitely the general of the Dora Milaje. The head still looks a little bit too big in my opinion, but I totally see the Nai Gurira, and she looks badass. Not only that, 
I still find this figure quite expressive. Okoye looks strong and ready to fight, but there's also a hint of vulnerability shown on her face. Protecting the king is a tough job. Alright, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Stay inspired and I'll see you soon. I can make it, so can you.